Um, now, I've been using Flex Builder 3, I think from tomorrow I'm probably going to be using FDT, but um, it's much of a muchness. Uh, so how do we start off developing for uh, for a Way 3D4? You're going to need um, Flash Player 11. I'm sure you've all got it these days now. You need the Player Global, obviously, or else you're not going to compile properly. Um, and SDK 4.5.0 or higher. Um, so I stopped using the mouse to scroll. Uh, chuck the SDK in your SDK library down there. Um, unzip it and... Uh, uh, name it to the correct um, the correct number, and then you've got to install your player global. So uh, uh, bang on down to frameworks libs player and install your player global there. It needs to be called player global .swick. Anything else, it's not going to find it, and you have to have it if you're targeting uh, Flash Player 11. You have to have it in folder 11, 11.2, etc. If you start getting loads of errors and it's looking for um, Player global where it can't find it. It doesn't really matter. Just put a put the correct player, player global uh, wherever it's looking for it. Um, sometimes, if you're using older versions of Flex Builder and presumably older versions of FDT as well, um, it's it's not looking for minor versions. It's only looking for major versions. Um, so there you go. 11.2 will do as well. Once you've got everything in there, make sure you're configured to. Uh, to run um, to default to uh, SDK 4.5.0 or whatever is the most up-to-date SDK you have and you're going to need a few extra compiler arguments chucked in there. Um, here they are, you can, uh, you can grab them off the PowerPoint later on if you need to know what they are. Um, you're targeting Swift version 30 which is the latest, uh, the latest um, uh, Swift format um, and player 11. I, don't know what static link runtime shared libraries equals true does, but without it you don't compile, so that's that. OA3D4 is still uh, in alpha, still um, being developed. Um, you can get it from SVM or from Git. I would always go for Git because uh, there are issues being resolved and extra capabilities being put in uh, pretty much on a daily basis. In fact, uh, there are normally several pushes into Git per day. Um, Check it out into a Flex Library project and um, and do a clean build of it. So um, I've got here a Way 3D4, a little Flex Library project in here. Um, you can see uh, the two main parts of the source folder are Adobe's little Agal mini assembler, um, and that uh, that's their library to allow you to um, render to stage 3D. Uh, if you're going in from scratch, you're not using a library, you're going to need that. Um, but this all gets bundled in with the Way 3D, and there are all your core cool libraries. There's stacks of them, and they all do um, loads and loads of capabilities. And possibly if we've got time, I don't think we're going to. Um, I might run through a few of them. Um, so uh, that will build a nice little swick for you here up in the bin, and uh, that's pretty much all you need. Um, just make sure you've got your uh, SWIC included and you should be ready to go. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, um, off you go. You can now go and build uh, cool stuff really fast in 3D. Um, there are some problems occasionally with um, with uh, Flex Builder suddenly not understanding any of the Flash display classes. Um, it's it's a known issue. I think it's been resolved, certainly in, in Flash Builder 5. Uh, you can go to here if you're getting problems. Um, that explains the problem and the solution. It's a bit of a workaround, but you know, it'll get you up and running. 